All right, we're gonna to try to do this in one take. Uh, the reason I, I made this video is I recently bought a uh, uh, Osprey uh, Atmos AG65 uh, pack, um, but apparently, uh, if you watch this video, you may be looking to buy one too. So if you're looking to buy one new, you should know that they have recently changed, slightly changed the pack and uh, the first part of this video, I want to go over those changes, so stick around. Um, but uh, this won't be a full review. Uh, I just got this pack uh, like this last week. Uh, I've been like one, uh, on one five mile hike, practice hike or whatever. Uh, so I don't have, I can't review it, but uh, uh, I can show you the, the things that I haven't seen in, in the other reviews because of the new version. So. Hopefully this is helpful. Stick around. So, I recently got back into uh, uh, camping and backpacking. And first of all, the camera situation, I don't have a wide angle camera. So we just got a, that's a webcam. It, I have to come back and I got the microphone light way up here. So the sound's bad. I'm, I know it's not ideal, but I'm not a YouTuber, guys. So we just have to deal. <laughs> so, I uh, recently got into uh, uh, into backpacking, and I was looking into to getting a real pack because I went on my first real backpacking thing, and uh, uh, and I found out uh, that the pack that I was using was crap. Apparently, so <laughs> we'll get into that later. But like I promise, the differences that you may not know from watching the review. So apparently, in 2022, uh, I, I Osprey uh, redesigned the Atmos. And the Aura. That's the ladies' version of this pack. So there's Atmos and Aura. Um, and I think it may be for the 50 liter too, but definitely for the 65 liter, which is what I have here, there are some some differences than, than in prior years. Um, so if you see reviews, you're going to see people will complain that it's a lot of money to spend on a pack and they don't include the rain cover, the El Cheapo rain cover. Uh, well, they do actually include it now. It's in this little zipper down here in the bottom. You can see here, there's a little pouch here in the bottom. It's got a little tag that says rain cover. And uh, and uh, and the, the cover comes out, and I haven't taken it out. And it's actually got a, like a little liner that keeps it attached so it can't fall off. So I guess the wind tried to catch it or something. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody talking about it. This is all new to me, so uh, just something to be aware of. It doesn't, if you get the new one, the 2022 version, and I think the 22, 2022 version, they're all like the monochrome colors. So there's the green one, I think there's like a gray, and I think there's a blue. Uh, so there's actually three different colors, and they have this, the way you can kind of tell is it's a monochrome color, the ones that I saw from the previous years that they're still selling have different colors for, like, I think there's a blue one with, like, orange straps or something. And most tellingly is that it doesn't have this this specific logo along the front. It looks different. It's, like, just, like, this little printed lo silk screen logo. And now this has this, like, fabric section here that's uh, different than the... The stretchy fabric right here. I think it's all fabric on the previous versions. So that's actually one of the differences. The next difference is I think on previous versions, at least some of the ones I saw, this whole front was this uh, stretchy, stretchy stuff. But now this is just straight up vinyl or whatever you call it, cordure. Or I don't know. I don't know the names of things. Non stretchy fabric here, and it's supposed to like be. Or reinforcement or something I think is the idea uh, but it means that you have a little bit less capacity because if this was all stretch you would be able to stuff like way more stuff but it's less you get less stuff in here apparently um, than if it was all stretchy so that would be the second thing the third thing that I noticed is uh, it's very common, at least these packs, especially uh, if you're doing through hiking. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, recommendation is to get rid of the brain. That's this thing up here. Is to to get rid of this and use the included um, 
fast fly, I think it's called. It's a little fly that, that that's like under here. It's it, it's always attached. Uh, well, they got rid of it now. So now, if you you can take off the brain, you can unstrap it. There's there's straps right here that you could unstrap this thing and 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 get rid of it. But it would just be this top right here, the the cinch top, and there would be no flap to go over it to cover cover it to, from the rain, except for your rain cover, right? Um, so. That's another difference. They no longer have that that separate flap if you remove the brain. So the brain is, a, in my opinion, a little bit more essential um, than it has been in the past. Another difference, I don't know if it's the same on the older versions, but it's definitely, I, I think it's a, definitely a, a deal with uh, the current versions is um, between the, there's a, 50 liter and a 65 liter version, right? On the 50 liter version, it is it, it, it doesn't have these uh, separate pockets in the front. So we have these separate slide pockets, each, and they're separated. So there's there's another one over here, but it's not the same pocket. Right? You can't go through. So it's two different pockets uh, that you can put on the side. And as far as I know, the the 50 liter doesn't have these extra pockets, just a 65. If you get the 65 liter version, you get these pockets here, which are kind of useful organization. This is otherwise a, uh, uh, a one, you know, just one big long tube of, of fabric that you stuff everything. Uh, it's basically a stuff sack, right? Um, and, uh, and the other thing um, that uh, is new, as far as I can tell, so one of the criticisms that I heard from a lot of people, for me, it was it was a plus because I thought it was more it was less failure prone. But a lot of people criticized the pack for just being one big tube. So you would open up the top, and uh, and it would just be one big tube, and you stuffed it. You had to stuff everything down from the top, and you if you need to get something to the bottom or on the sides or whatever, you had to like take everything out. But for me, I, I one of the reasons why I like the pack is is that it doesn't have zippers going down the side because those zippers, when they get tension, they'll just split, right? So uh, I wanted that. But apparently, uh, hidden deep within the recesses here along the side, uh, they have now included the side... Uh, so you can get into the main the main part of the sack. So you could have it all strapped up here, cinched up here. You could still get that's the same. That's the kind. Of, the, this compartment and this compartment are the same compartment. Just getting at it from the side. And same thing on this side. You can get uh, you can unzip it, and uh, you, see, you see it goes down a pretty good ways. Um, and it's got this little cover over it, so the the fly is more water resistant. And it's got the same thing here on this side, so you can you can unzip this side as well. And um, so people were complaining about that, so those people were probably a little bit more happy. It wasn't a big deal for me, but uh, uh, either way, but uh, apparently it was for some other people. So those were the uh, big... Oh, there's other changes. We got the... Uh, the mounting system is a little bit different and I'll see if I can scooch up here and we can get the camera in here. Okay, so the mounting system seems to be a little bit different than on pre previous years. Um, from what I could tell, in previous years there would be like this little, you would stick your finger in like a little side thing and like it was like a little clip that you would unclip and, and then you could you could you could move the the straps up or down or or, or whatnot um it would you know you would get behind it and it was like a clip and apparently some people and i, I should mention i'm gonna i'm gonna link two reviews uh, that i think are fairly uh that are pretty fair from the and very informative to me about the pack but it's the older version so that, that's why i kind of want to do this little addendum here but um one in one of the dudes uh, one of those videos, um, it broke. So one side of the clip thing was 
wouldn't lock into place, so he had a problem with that. This system now is it's just these cinch uh, friction things. It, it's like this is dead simple. This is just a strap and a, a, a closure here that, that you set the position with, and it's like this is this is this is just about foolproof. And if you do run into a problem, you could always just strap a whole bunch of paracord here and then tie it off somewhere down here and then you can fix it yourself whereas uh you know with other system it was a little more i don't know mechanical or something and this is this is seems to be dead i think this is a little bit simpler um just from the looks at it looks of it i don't know how the other one worked but this it this does look like a change from previous years that's what i'm getting at um but it is still adjustable don't get me wrong so you can see it has the marks on the side you see the little vortex one two three four and then you could just and it's just marked there so you you know you know like i i think i'm supposed to be on like two ish one two and uh yeah uh, it's just uh just uh yeah that's one of the changes I don't know if they made the pockets bigger. Some people will complain that the pockets were were really um, small. I don't know. I'm talking about the little side strap part. And they said that uh, uh, it, it, it was hard to close uh, with one hand. You needed two hands. As you can see here, this is brand new. And I, I, I don't have a problem. And I can... If I'm wearing it, actually, this, this is where it is. I'm still getting used to everything, so pardon, pardon me if I'm still out of, kind of half out of the shot, but probably going to see things anyway. But, like I, see the strap? I don't have, a, I don't have any problem, and it's, it's a good two, three inches of, of solid space. It's it's a fist size, like a, a you know fairly medium size. I don't have really big hands, but like a a, a good medium size fist uh, of space in there. So this is actually pretty spacious. I think I think they have actually um, improved the size. That's what I'm getting at. Um, so I think that might be a ch another change that they made. So, as you can see, it's not, it's mostly the same pack from what I can tell, uh, but with just some very uh, modest improvements. Overall, um, uh, I've been very impressed with the pack uh, so far. But, uh, yeah, I, like I said, uh, if, if you're just... Uh, <laughs> um, if you're just tuning in to, to get the update on the 2022 version, this concludes that portion and the rest will be me rambling about this pack and, and why I bought it and, and, and all that jazz. So uh, if, if, if that, that's all you want, uh, I'll catch you guys later and uh, we will proceed with the, the next portion. So, yeah. So I initially, I just got back in the backpack, like I was saying, and I wanted to get a, a, a new pack that uh because everybody was saying that the pack that i was using was absolutely dog trash by like today's standards which whenever i first got that pack was a fairly nice pack at least compared to the stuff that i had previously and that was i've, I've still actually got it that was over 20 years ago 20 25 years ago and this was just a regular old alice pack um uh, I, 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 all throughout my teenage years, I had this uh, from like the age of 12 or something like that. Whenever I was 11 or 12, when I was going out every weekend there about it and, and camping, it was with this Alice pack and it has seen some miles. It's got, it's got, it's got, it's got broken welds and, 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 uh, the strap just broke on. This is, so I took this out. When I when I went to uh, do the long leaf trace, uh, not this weekend but last weekend, I went to do the long leaf trace just to to kind of do like a little shakedown, and I had all new gear, but I had my, my old pack 
I have an old standby pack and uh, we're literally in the parking lot and I, I you know, I strap it up on my shoulders or whatever and I go to buckle it and the freaking buckle breaks off. So there's supposed to be the, like the, the retaining clip that clips over, the, the cinches over. Let me see the other side. Where's that? So it's supposed to, supposed to slide and clip over. Well, the top portion that's supposed to latch on here, just like bloop. <laughs> so I had, I had no, uh, uh, I had no uh, 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 waist strap strap. So I had to carry everything on my shoulders like we had to do in the rain. So we did use this in the rain. So also I additionally had training on this. And this is exact same pack. This is a medium size Alice pack. In case you don't know, this is, you've seen this before. It's a medium size Alice pack. It's like, I think, 30 or 40 liters or something. And uh, uh, they make two different ones. One's the, the medium, and then they make a large, at least when they were issued. We were always, in the Marines, at least uh, us, us non infantry people, we were always issued the medium, as far as I know. So it was basically an exact copy of this is what we were issued. So I, I have spent many, 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 many an hour, many, many a day, many, 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 many miles on a pack exactly like this. So I know this thing inside and out. So I, I wasn't afraid to using this, but we go to take it out, and it breaks or whatever. And so I'm like, do I want to like, do I want to like repair this? You know, I'm a little bit older now. I could say I don't have to get the exact thing that the military wanted, but maybe there's some upgrades I can get for the Alice pack. And so I started looking around, and everybody was saying, "Just get rid of that thing. <laughs> that it's terrible." And it is like uh, by by today's standards, uh, the the packs now even like you know there's some Walmart version uh, internal frame packs or whatever for like ninety dollars I think, and I've, I've seen. Uh, I've seen some from Magellan, I think, in uh, uh, in Academy Sports or something like that, in another big brand I can't remember the name, of it. but for like 120 or something like that, and they're internal frame packs and they weigh like half what this weighs. I'm like now, uh, and it's and it carries better. It's not just that it weighs. It's not just that this weighs half as much it's, look at the size of this pack I'm like it's 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 like almost twice the size you know but it's like half you know the half of the dry weight or whatever and it makes a big difference and not only that it carries a whole lot better um this was all just really pads and stuff hard pads and stuff this is like this is made for combat that's what this is made for it's made to be drugged through the mud literally drugged through the mud and and thrown up on the top of trucks and and it, it, it's made to be absolutely abused completely abused which means it is completely overbuilt for civilian uh, uh backpacking <laughs> like and i want it to be comfortable so uh i i i took the I took the advice to heart that I found online and I started looking into packs. Uh, one, uh, one of the first, place, this is one of the first packs that I started looking at uh, because this is like, this is not a budget pack, don't get me wrong. Um, this is a very good beginner pack for somebody who's serious about backpacking. Um, meaning it's not, they, they've, they've, they backpacked with the school backpack or maybe they use some, some surplus gear before, but now if they're trying to get into backpacking for real, maybe they want a real pack. They, they, they say, oh, I actually do want to invest a little bit of money into this. This is one of the, like, uh, uh, two or three, uh, brands that you would, you recommend it specifically this model in particular is is apparently a very 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 popular very standard pack the 50 liter and the 65 liter uh version so it's not it's not like some really esoteric ultra light stuff it's not some like really oversized like 100 liter pack that nobody needs to be carrying un unless you you have a specific need for that like 
you're experienced and you know what you're doing and you know you need a hundred liter bag <laughs> Uh, you know who you are, but you know if you're just like everyday Joe Blow or whatever, uh, doing uh, you know maybe three or four day weekends or or even a through hike of the Appalachian Trail, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, this is the pack for you, you know. <laughs> so one of the things that, that I was just right, like randomly on YouTube one day and and I got a recommendation for uh, homemade wonderlust. Uh, Girl, that's I think that's the name of the the channel. Homemade Wonderless is this girl named Dixie, and she like just out of the blue or whatever uh, decided to hike <laughs> the Appalachian Trail like like years ago. I think like five or seven years ago or something like that. So it's been a while. Um, but she packed a fifty liter. She she did the whole thing. And by the way, that's that's like over two thousand miles. When we say through hike the Appalachian Trail, that means hiking the entire thing like pretty much in one go I just like stopping for you know to, to wash your clothes or something in town or something like that or get fresh mail and taking breaks every now but you're what you're trying to get it through it all in one year because you you got to get to the end before the the mountain closes at the end or whatever you know uh, so you can finish the hike and so you're trying to do it all in one year and it's over like 2,000 miles so that's called through hiking the Appalachian Trail anyway this girl did it I was extremely impressed, and as soon as I heard about it, I was like, oh my God, this sounds amazing. <laughs> so I got really excited to get back in the backpack, and, and uh, she she hiked the whole thing with the 50-liter version, the female 50-liter version of this. I went a little bit bigger just because I figure if, if I get really serious about it, and I know later on exactly what, what volume I need, I can always just buy a new pack. I mean, it's... It's a couple hundred dollars, but uh, uh, this will still be a good pack. And, you know, if I want to go hack with my, my sister or a friend or something, I'll have another pack on hand for them to use. So it's not a big deal, you know. Um, but I figured this is a good general person pack. Everybody seems to think that this is a good general person pack. And that's why I got this one. Um, so what does the, if in case you just haven't seen any, any other uh, ideas of what this pack is, it's uh, it's got a frame built into it. That uh, oi, oi, oi. let's pop it up here. It's got a frame built into it. And you see this webbing here? That's not. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Let's scooch up here. All right. Can you see that? You see I, that? I'm not touching the back of the pack. It's got this webbing. It's got like a um a break between the back of the pack and the back in the frame whatever so this is what's touching your back and then it's got like this gap so you get plenty of airflow back there which is a huge problem um on even my alice pack was uh you would you would get going and and as soon as you start sweating all of the sweat is just like dripping into the back of your pack or whatever it, like you get super wet or whatever but there's plenty of airflow as you can see there's lots of Padding in here. These pads they go all the way. Put this up here again. Oy, 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 oy. So it's all adjustable. You do have to get like close to your size, so they have a sizing guide or whatever. I uh, there's no like uh, Osprey vendor here. Uh, where I live, and there's no REI or nothing like that, so I had to do the sizing on my own. But um, so you can see the pads come all the way around. There's this adjustable pad right here that slides in or out, depending on how, how much you need to, to move it in or out. These pads right here, you can see the marks or whatever, so you can slide this up and down if you need to adjust the, the pad length. The, uh, uh, see here at the top. You can see the, uh, you can adjust the, the height. So you have your lifters right here. You can, you can adjust how, how, how forward or behind the, uh, uh, the pack is there. So you, you'll see other videos that have, uh, have, it's very adjustable. And you saw the, uh, the frame adjustment before this thing with the little arrows where you can slide it up and 
up and down. So you could you could get get it the right height so it's sitting and the straps are sitting in the right position and, and all that stuff. And you just got to tweak that stuff. It's like everybody's body is different, so everybody's going to have to uh, tweak it a little bit different. But um, as you can see, it's highly uh, configurable. It's very comfortable. I uh, man, I I did 15 miles that that first um, that first uh, weekend out and uh, it. it Man, it killed my shoulders. I, I was dead. But I even knew that, even if I had the the the, the hip pads were working or whatever, um, I just had all the memories start flooding in. I was like, man, this thing. I just remember how painful this thing was to carry. <laughs> it started. The memories started flooding back in, and and I did. Uh, so that's what, you know, I was like, let's, let's see what other people are recommending. And then, and then I got this back and, and I did a, a walk to, to my parents' house, which is like five miles away. It took like, uh, what, two hours? Yeah, I think it took about two hours. I took a stop at my sister's house along the way, like halfway. Uh, so basically two, uh, two hour long, uh, uh, uh treks, but, uh, uh, just a five mile long trek and I was perfectly fine perfectly fine my shoulders were not sore my hips were not sore my feet were sore because they're not used to, to walking that much but uh they will be they'll get better in time but uh this completely solved the the carrying the load problem and i'm actually carrying more with this pack than i was on my previous one uh just because i added everything i wanted to to, to see how well it carries and it, it carries like a drink i don't even have this fully filled up I'm like, I've still got probably like 20% more capacity that I could, stuff I could carry, uh, at least volume-wise, that I could carry. And I could probably easily pack on another 10 pounds without it becoming uh, another issue. And this is about, what was it? I want to say, yeah, yeah. I think it's I think this is about 28 pounds fully loaded the other one was right at 25 pounds so it wasn't even that big of a deal and we still carry that the Alice pack we when we were training or whatever all the gear and stuff and that that weighed like 40 or 50 pounds or something like that and I'm absolutely confident and I know how painful it was to carry that much on that pack uh, which uh, I would not want to do 25 was about as heavy as I would want to go with that that previous that was testing the limits even if my shoulders toughen up and everything that was as heavy as I would want to go and that that's getting like very close to like uh ultra like <laughs> category you're like within t 10 pounds of, of ultra like capacity but anyway um uh because ultra light people like to keep everything below like 10 pounds or something so once you add in the the food and stuff on top of that you're talking about 15 maybe 20 pounds um but uh yeah this this is this is like three pounds heavier and i don't even know it's probably actually even more i don't i don't know i've added the, so here in the tent i have the 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 uh the sleeping bag that i didn't carry last time so it's it's probably five pounds three to five pounds a little bit heavier so anyway yeah uh but it carried like a dream and i i, I am extremely happy with my purchase and another good thing about uh, the osprey well you'll learn if you, you get it is there's a lifetime warranty on here so if i have a problem with this you just call up uh osprey and they'll uh they'll either repair it or or replace it and uh apparently that's one of the bonuses so there's a bit a little bit of safety your first purchase going in you don't exactly know what you're doing but you'll be fine you know even if you screw up uh you you, you bought a good quality pack um uh, yeah okay so let's go here so that's the frame portion it also has a, a built-in bladder here as you can see the little uh thingy coming off and i got the little magnetic connector that comes off there we've seen the the, the front pouches you've seen the brain sort of well the brain has two compartments just just so we, we we're showing everything the brain has two compartments there's a there's a top compartment here or whatever and then um, I don't know why 
I don't know why people call it the brain, but that's this is what they call it, the top lid or whatever. Sometimes, uh, some manufacturers, this this top portion comes off and there's like straps so you can like, it's like a huge fanny pack that you can convert into like a day pack, day pack fanny pack thing or whatever. Um, as far as I can tell, this, isn't a, this, a, this doesn't do that. It, it would be like a pain to unstrap it because it's like lashed here with like, not clippy straps, but like strap straps, right? Um, and then there's a, this other bigger pouch, pouch right here. So this, this big pouch right here is, I imagine it's a little more waterproof than, than the other one. Oh, and it's got a, it's got a little key ring clip here. And, um, this bag is not waterproof. I imagine it's water resistant, but with all of these, here's the thing. People say, why, why don't they make the bag, uh, Oh, waterproof well first of all any brush or whatever thing you come in there is the, is the chance to like break your waterproofing layer plus every one of these stitches every single one of them is a is a point of failure for the waterproofing meaning it's going to fail like as much stitching is on here it's going to fail even if it was waterproof it would it would fail in a matter of days just because the sheer number of uh, amount of stitching on here so uh the only ones that are waterproof are basically just trash bags on the frame those are the ones that are waterproof <laughs> so if you want if you want a, a bag with like complicated pockets and stuff like that and and a bunch of lashing points and stuff like that you want a complicated bag you're not going to get a waterproof bag that's interesting so this water resistant and that's why you have the rain cover on the bottom start raining on you either you know flip on your poncho or put on the rain cover or preferably both along with using waterproof bags inside of the bag which is what i've done what i've always done everyone my alice pack you always put the, the little bivy bag or whatever i can't remember when that name it was the diddy bag i can't remember i can't remember the terminology from that's 20 years ago i don't remember shit <laughs> but uh yeah so it's, it's one big bag here uh you can unclip this this is the stretchy portion. We've seen the little side, little side zippers here. Um, there is a attachment point. So if you if you want to uh, scooch this back here, if you if you want to uh, hook up uh, a sleeping mat or your uh, uh, tent or whatever down here, you can you can. There's straps here that uh, you can resize or whatever and. Just, and put it on and of course you can actually if you don't want to use it you can remove the straps just unlace them whatever and i will have those little retainers but, but if that's your thing um it does have this bottom compartment here that's what this other zipper thing looks like this uh bottom compartment here is you can get quick access to your sleeping bag because usually you pack your sleeping bag down at the bottom um so uh, I have here the sleeping bag and my sleeping mat and my uh, uh, sleeping bag liner, which is what I sleep in in the summer. Uh, don't even sleep in the sleeping bag. Uh, it's just there for volume because I'm testing things out. But um, yeah, so this is just your quick access to get your sleeping bag. You have these little flippy clips. You've seen the rain cover pouch. Um, on the sides here, we have the stretchy uh, side pockets, so you can slide things down. You can see I have my tent poles staked down through here. We have compression straps uh, that you could cinch up uh, along the sides. Um, this the stretchy pouch on the side has this little uh, hook here, so you can so if you're reaching around while you're wearing the pack, you can pull this out and, and stuff your water bottle up in there. From the, from the side right instead of having to go down from the top uh, so that's one way you could you could do that if you've got the shoulder flexibility to do that i do not <laughs> uh, apparently apparently everybody learns the skill eventually but same thing over here it's got a little pool thing and in, in the side pouch and you can get off the top more compression straps uh, internally so you have this this the, the the sleeping bag compartment and then the upper compartment there's a like a, a fabric divider that 
clips, so clippy clips, right? Clip these clips. Um, inside here, you can unclip it and make it all one big chamber, or you can have it sectioned off. So, so it has this little shelf that that you can clip or unclip. Um, it has a little strap here. I don't know what that's for. It's got another little strap here. Again, don't know what that's for, but it's got this handle here. It's really handy. You can just grab it at the top. Really handy. And you can just zip this open. The top, uh, there's another compression strap at the, at the top. You need to sense things down. You can sense that down. Um, there is a can you see that? Can you see that? There's this sleeve here that goes along down the bottom, and as you can see, the bladder goes in there. So this is water bladder that you can buy separately. I don't know how much it was. It's like 30, 40 bucks. But you buy it separately, and it has a quick release, whatever, that you can, you can plug up, and, and, and a hanger for it, so it, it stays in the upright position. But it just slides down in here in that little pouch. Uh, it has this zipper here. I think that's just for replacing the frame or something. I haven't seen anything. It's very hard to get to. You have to come around. Like this is the back side of the zipper. You have to come around like a bunner here, bunner the. I don't know what it's for, but uh, I think it has something to do with changing out the frame if it gets broke or something fit in the frame but yeah um do, 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 do. what am I else what else we got Corey are we done rambling uh, I think it's getting close to oh there are a couple other things there are straps I don't know how much of a feature this is where is it? Is it here? Yeah, okay. So there are two straps here for your ice pick. So you could you could lash your, you apparently you can lash your, your your ice pick up here and the handle can go all the way up here and it's got this little bit right here that that'll contain the other side or something like that. Basically it, it firmly attaches your um, your safety ice pick or whatever it is I know nothing about mountaineering or anything. But you can do that, and you can see it's, you can stash them away on the other side. Whichever is your preference. And, oh, and uh, we have a trekking pole uh, thing on Bob here. So, we got a way, you got a way that you could stow your trekking pole. So you see, that's this little thing right here, it's kind of rubberized or whatever. So you could slide your the bottom of your trekking pole down in here and then you run the handles through the top of this and then you cinch it down and it ties. So it gives you let you you don't have to collapse and put away your trekking poles. You can just literally you just like sheath, you know, it's like you're carrying a, a, a sword or something, just sheath your, uh, your 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 trekking poles off to the side and strap them down and you got both hands free uh, whenever you do that. Um, yeah. yep, 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 yep. What else? Anything else? Uh, no. Uh, I guess that's a, like I said, I'm not an expert on these packs or everything, but I have been impressed uh, so far. And uh, uh, yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, I will post. Um, Two reviews. There's like a bajillion reviews on this bag. Like I said, it's very common, uh, but they there are older ones. But and, and the ones I'm going to link are also older versions, like even several years old. Um, but I found them. I think I think they're probably the most helpful. I think like I, I I'll list the the homemade wonderless one, which is the channel that inspired me to get back into backpacking. Um, and uh, I buy her advice a lot uh, on, on what to get, and she absolutely recommended this, so that's what I'm going. That's what I went with. And then there was another dude who did like 900 
his review after like he did a, he did a review of the the Atmos sixty five um, after nine hundred or so miles or something like that. So both both of these reviewers have really put the pack through their paces. Um, so I think that let, really lets you know what they're talking about. And neither one of them are gear channels. So you have the gear channels where they're constantly being paid to basically advertise <laughs> new stuff. Uh, not that we don't need those people, but uh, uh, these these people that, that they're they're not primarily gear channels or whatever, and they don't you know make money off of affiliate links and stuff like that. So, uh, so I, I take their advice. They've got the experience with the pack specifically, uh, and uh, and uh, they they got the experience uh, doing the thing that, that that I'm most interested in being able to do with this, which is getting into through hiking. So, um, yeah. That's uh, my first look update. <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm a terrible YouTuber. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, I hope you guys uh, have a uh, lovely day and I'll see you next time. Book reviews may be coming in the future. One day, they're still on my radar. I just, yeah, it's going to be a little bit. We, we, we've been picking up other hobbies and it's, Starting a new job and excuses, excuses. <laughs> but anyway, I'll catch you guys later. All right. Bye-bye.